Okay guys, so today we're going to be installing a coal in this Jeep because it's running funny and we're hoping this is the problem. See our video where we did the uh, getting the codes, but our code is very vague and it says it could be this, it could be that, blah blah blah. So we're going to put this new coal in this Jeep and see if it fixes the problem. If not, We'll do some more sensors and stuff. He's gonna do the work though. Okay, so now we're replacing the coal. So we have this clamp right here, comes off, and then it has two bolts right here. And the coal is replaced. Oh, and you have your coal wire back here. And there, everything is off. Come on, Brian, stretch in there. Oh, yeah, there it is. Yeah, there, yeah. there's two. I thought I said there was two. All right, Dad, can you hand me the tools around the tire? Okay. Okay, so the tools used for this job is a 10, 10 millimeter wrench and a 10 millimeter socket. Or two 10 millimeter wrenches. And so he's coming in on the bottom side. Probably makes it easier but harder. Want me to do it? All right, I got it. All right, I broke it loose. Okay. Probably be easier if I'm up there. Probably. Okay. Here right. he goes. He thinks he has it. Got it. My hand. There you go. I can do it with my hand. <laughs> and here is what our son looks like taking out the uh, duck capacitor coil. What's capacitor? Flux capacitor. This is the uh, distributor coil. Golly, what do they put on these things? I can't even move my hand too. <laughs> Come on, muscles. So you have your new coal? Yeah. yeah. Sounds all nice and shiny. All nice and shiny? What does the old coal look like? Uh, dirty. All old and busted? Hopefully that's the problem. So in case it drops. Mm-hmm. And you can connect your other wire. Just put it down where it's supposed to go before you connect it. Alright. There. Goes down there. All the wires connected? Yeah. Now let Looks me, all pretty. Let me go down there to plug up everything. Now it's all plugged in. Yeah. Alright, let's start the Jeep. Let's go take it for a test. <laughs> it break. will start. Thread it. You got it? Yeah. Okay, now thread your other one. You hear me? It's on the tire again. Your hands are all dirty. I know. I wonder why. It's grody. Look at that. It's on there. Now just take your 10 millimeter wrench and socket. Tighten that on up. You're done. He looks like underneath the Jeep. Mm -hmm. All comfy and stuff. Is it comfortable? Mm -hmm. You need a pillow. Mm -hmm. Okay, where's dad to work? I'm gonna hold the wrench. You got it tight? Oh, yeah, it's tight. I didn't even feel any tension on it. That's because you got that side. Uh huh, yeah. Okay, 
So, coal was not the issue. And uh, so we're gonna go look at uh, other things to do. And uh, let me check that O2 sensor, see what we find there. If this was helpful for you for installing a coal, give us a like. If you like our channel, subscribe. And if you're looking for all of the great recipes and stuff that my wife does, check that out at diningwithdadnows.com. We also want to thank you for all the support you've been giving us. Uh, the support on our website, that's blowing up. And, uh, you know, we, our affiliates, thank you for shopping with our affiliates. They're great affiliates like Home Depot, Amazon, things like that. Really helps us out, guys. You know, please take care.